what we need to do first is figure out what we need. And you've got every you've got a lot of people running around saying, "Gosh, we got to replace all the lead pipes." You got the Virginia Tech professor who's sort of the only hero or one of the two heroes in this situation saying, "We may not do, do be, we may not need to do that. That may not be the quickest, safest way to fix this problem. Let's figure out the best fix and not the 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 best political fix, the one that that looks you know the best on TV. Let's take the emotion out of it. Got to figure out where those pipes are." What, whether they need to be replaced or simply coded, how much money it's going to take. We don't know any of that because our political leaders have been too busy now scrambling and, and, and scurrying all over each other and not sitting down together and figuring out what we need. The more recent tragedy in Detroit schools has been <laughs> the, the, the work of this tremendous coalition that came together last year to come up with a way to go forward in the district that we didn't build on that. We didn't build on the broad spectrum of people who were behind that. We didn't build on all the work that they did. And that plan is essentially just sitting on the shelf like 30 other plans uh, to fix DPS. I think that's the way forward. I think you put a superintendent in, in, in place, not another EM, an, an actual superintendent, uh, and that person ought to work through the mayor's office and the governor's office to rebuild the parts of that coalition to, t to start talking about what kind of school district we need and can build 